welcome back to my channel. My name is Marley if you are new and if not, hello, she's giving bombshell. Or maybe Marley Electra. Ooh, you like that? No, that was that was terrible. Um, hello, welcome. Welcome to my channel. I just did this really quick, well not quick, but it's gonna look like it's quick, uh, wig and makeup tutorial. Yes, I used a new bundle coming to Glam Cloth Beauty that has Sour Diesel Glitter, Hollywood Eyelashes, and this lip combo you have to stay tuned for because I use a lot. Um, but yeah, just watch the fucking video. Shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring and blessing me with this wig. You guys, okay, so for the hair tutorial, again, I was a mess, but I, I kind of did it backwards. Like, I wanded curled it and then I hated it and then I tried to you know take some of the curls out and then I started to do the layers it was a lot it was a process but we're here and yeah I think it looks great the hair quality is amazing like amazing like crazy here I'll put this side down so you guys can see I like cut layers into it I gave it some body it's hairsprayed the house down with bedhead hairspray so I just used a ton of fucking hairspray and layers and then I used my straightener to wand it but look how pretty this hair is like it's gorgeous honestly it's gorgeous again stepping out of my comfort zone because this is not a hair color I would do but I've managed to make it me I guess I don't know Come on, bra strap. You're in the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, bra strap. Um. So I really liked how this look turned out. Gives me like very like summery vibes, even though we're in the dead of winter. But it gives us something to look forward to because I would like to go outside. Shout out to Nadula Hair. This wig is awesome. It is a four by four. And I didn't even, ooh, Lord, let's ooh, put that down. But um, it doesn't, it only has the lace part right here. It doesn't have the lace part anywhere else. So, but it looks super, like, once you see how I, like, transformed this wig, like, I feel like it looks super natural. Um, I said it in the video, but you kind of want to be careful with 4x4 four four wigs because it can look very wiggy. So, um, I mean, but girl, a wig is a wig. But, you know, you, you want to do your best. But anyway, um, if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. I'm done for now <laughs> I feel like that took forever but we have revived 
not even revived because it was brand new, but we have styled this wig. It's giving very Audrina from, from the hills, very California, I don't know, bombshell, babe. I'm trying to like, I don't know, I wanna, not Audrina from the hills. Oh my God, do you guys remember that show? Fucking Justin Bobby. Honestly, he would have had me, even though that show was not real, but he would have had me acting crazy too. Like, he is like, when I say, if he was only, because I feel like he's like short, tangent, I feel like he's like short in real life, but if he was like six foot, or he might be, I don't know. I, we're not going to Google. That's not important. I'll Google it later. But, um, oh my God, he was so fine though. Like, that is like my dream man fucking Justin Bobby or like anyone that kind of like looks like him or resembles him you know my DMs are open with these types of wigs I like to just add a little bit of I don't know layering right there because if not it just looks very oh I didn't do a good job on the side but it just looks very wiggy so um but I love these wigs because you can literally just throw them on, but like customizing them does take a really fucking long time. I look crazy, but this is <laughs> this is what we're um, this is what we're gonna work with right now until we get some glam on. What was I saying? Yeah, my brows. I got my brows microbladed, so we're not. I'm actually gonna kind of leave them how they are because um, Jimba who did my brows she wants me to send her a picture and I've been lacking so I'm just gonna brush them up Boom. put a little brow gel from benefit yeah I'm gonna leave them just how they are I'm not gonna do anything to them Just so she can get her, you know, picture. Because if anything, I would put some concealer. Well, that's what I've been doing. Just putting some concealer and making it a little bit more, um, you know, whatever. But naturally, like this, I feel like they look good. It's a good little natural moment. Um, <laughs> who am I kidding? I'm going to put some concealer. But just to, like, underneath. Not to, like... hide these blemishes right here too because I I don't know why my skin fucking hates me so much please tell me I'm not the only one whose skin has been just fucking acting up um okay so for primer today we're gonna ah! For primer today, we're going to be using the Professional. Actually, we're going to use a couple of primers today. Oh, I already have one of these open. I'll use that. I'll put that in a giveaway. But we're going to be using the Professional. Give me a nice base. Lately, I've been using the makeup. Um, the milk makeup one, but... I'm going to use Benefit. And then on top of that, I'm going to use the new Benefit Pore Professional Super Setter. And it comes like this. Ooh, the packaging is really nice. I like this. It's very them, but I love, I love setting spray packaging for some reason. It instantly blurs pores and visibly reduces shine. Locks on makeup for 16 hours. Benefit we shall see absorbs quickly to refresh and hydrate skin cloud like mist it's waterproof smudge proof and fade proof hmm interesting we shall see okay let's Ooh, they were kidding mm, it does smell really good and a cloud like mist like they said <coughs> I'm fine I'm not dying um I feel like I've like forgotten my makeup routine is that not weird 
like I feel like that's weird. Anyways, going in with the hourglass. Do I want to use a beauty blender today? I don't know. Ooh, we should spray some. I love doing this. Ooh. That blends that out really nicely. Are y'all seeing this? You guys know I use my hourglass as just like a color corrector base. Get rid of all my dark spots, give me a nice even skin tone. All right, so let's go in with the NARS. I'm actually not gonna use a beauty blender today because I really <laughs> don't feel like getting up. I'm gonna go in with the NARS, nothing new. Come on, sis. And then I'm gonna continue using the pump. Brush. <laughs> From Glam Goth Beauty, bitch. It's like the perfect stippling brush for foundation. I made this brush for foundation to give you just like that flawless like base, but like airbrushed. Oh my God, I have foundation on my eyebrows, no. It's all right. I think I'll just fill them in with death because I don't know. Like I've still been doing my brows, but just not as like, Hardcore as I was before. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. And then I'm using the YSL um, concealer. And this just gives me like. I don't know what this does. <laughs> but it makes my eyes super bright. And I love that for me. And then I go in with the Pat McGrath. A little bit light there. Some right there. All right. Let's buff this out. You guys know I love my Chanel setting powder. Um. I did buy the Givenchy one, but I'm gonna return it. I'm just gonna use that on this brush. And set it. Oh my God, my mouth was open. <laughs> I'm eating the setting powder, honey. Do you know glamour feeds me? No, don't, I shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> oh my God, I wish I had like, shit to tell you guys, I don't like, Quarantine is really starting to like, and you know what's crazy? Like, I'm not even, I mean, I don't consider myself a homebody. I think it's just cause like I work from home. So I'm like always home all the time. But like if I had an office somewhere else, like that's where I would be, right? But what was I saying? What, what, what was I getting at? Oh yes, I am not a homebody. But I did like going a couple places. I did like going a couple places. God damn. Like it's literally just like grocery shopping and that's it. Like that's all. And then like, like little places. Like the gym, nail salon, my facial lady. <laughs> when I do my laser appointments, like, and that's it. Like, that's, that's not a life. <laughs> I would like my life back, but you know what? What's keeping me going? Like, cause low key, I had to like pull myself out of like, not depression, but just like, bitch, you, it's really people out here fucking dying. Like people are dying because 
I don't know, just is just shit is just out of like at this point. I, I know I'm not making sense, but at this point, the pandemic is out of my control. Like I had to have that conversation with myself. Like, bitch, there's not shit that you can do about it. So you might as well just keep doing what you're doing and you know when shit does open back up again like you'll be ready <laughs> you'll be ready bitch i'm trying to not get distracted by being distracted if that makes sense like so today for instance like i'm back in the gym and i just you know like on the way there i listen to a really good playlist like all my favorite um like trap songs or whatever um and just like, you know, romance began to romanticize my life again. So, I'm just going in with Glennie from the Seven Deadly Sins. We love her. Lately I've been doing like, I don't know, I've been doing like a glowy look. Baby. Oh, when I did get the new Fenty powder, it's honestly, it's so good. I got the shade 400. Um, the, what's it called? What do, you, what do you call them? Sephora Color Girl, Specialist Girl. She was like, when you set it with setting powder, like it really blends into your skin and it does. So I just cover all down here in that area. Like that, and then we can spray this again. So yeah, so like matte, but with like a glow. Like that's been my thing now, All right? And then I also got the new Gucci bronzer. I did get the foundation too, and I tried it one day, and it just, well first it was not my color. Like trying to color match now during all of this shit is like crazy. Um, it didn't match my skin, and it just wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't giving me the coverage that I wanted so I just returned it but this bronzer you guys is everything and I got the shade number four and I believe there's one more darker than this but I love to use this just to give me like a glow like and I put it over top of gluttony and I don't know if you guys can see but oh, and it smells amazing I'm still layering my contour so I'm going with the Charlotte Tilbury like the other day I was in bed and I was just like I can't like keep like self-loathing you know because I'm I feel like we're all just sitting and waiting for like you know just waiting and it's just like no we need to make the most of life right now so what did I do I watched um, one of my favorite movies American Beauty if you guys watched my eyelash try on, I told you guys that American Beauty inspired my eyelash packaging. Um, just the scene where all the roses are falling on, I forget her name, um, but just that scene is just like, is so iconic to me. I don't know what it is about that movie because watching it again, I was like, okay, this is kind of weird, but like, I like weird. I don't know. It, it, it's like, dark and dramatic but like comical at the same time um and i know this is gonna be like problematic to say but i really i don't know i i i like what's his name kevin spacey like i like his acting for some reason i don't know why i i have no clue why but i really like his acting um even though like even like when he was in house of cards i'm like why is he always kissing up on some like young ass fucking girl like what but mm. child who knows because this industry is crazy but yeah american beauty is one of my favorite movies watch it if you haven't that was the mark jacobs and i think i want to do more of a bronzy um, peachy look so I'm gonna go in with Ella Zane from Chanel baby yeah so I watched that movie and I watched Josie and the Pussycats oh my god that was like one of my favorite movies growing up too all right I'm taking the Dior highlighting palette this is in the shade well, in the palette, Rose Gold. Um, I 
believe they still have these in stock, I'm not sure. But it's just good to know that like, I'm not the only one who like feels like this. Like, everyone wants to go outside right now. So, especially now like, I don't know. Like I feel like if you're somewhere sunny, like you're probably not feeling it as bad even though I know LA is like the most dangerous place to live right now which is like does not surprise me at all it's fucking LA like nobody wants to follow the fucking rules but it's also not being enforced so oh my god now my nose is like super bronzy I don't like my nose right now why did I do that okay I need to fix this I need to fix this so I just filled in my brows a little bit still kept them with their like the shape that um, I got microbladed just added a little bit of powder underneath my eyes I really don't like my nose contour today but what the fuck can we do oh my god um, and then we're gonna spray again Mm. love that it's a good product I love how it comes out I love how it smells I love it just like does what it's supposed to do so yesterday I did a really pretty bronzy golden kind of like smoky eye um, so I figured why not do that again for you guys um, and it's super easy too I feel like it's a nice I mean it's a nice like summer eye look but I mean we could do it now we'll just act like it's summer it'll keep us hopeful <laughs> um, but I'm gonna do it a little bit more I don't know I'm gonna use a little bit but I'm gonna switch up just like a few things and I'm putting erode and rubbish right into the crease. All right, and I'm gonna take Oblivion. It's my um, go-to brown liner, Glam Grand Beauty. And I'm gonna put that right in the waterline. The color brown just complements every eye tone, like especially if you have green eyes. That was like one of my favorite things to do, is do a, a dark brown smoky eye on somebody that had green eyes. Oh my god, it came, and it would come out beautifully for like everyone, like every single race skin tone. Love that. And then I'm going to go in with Mar and Rot, and I'm going to set that. I'm gonna take this Glam Goth Beauty brush and I'm gonna go in with Rust and Mar. And I'm just gonna smoke that out. I think I'm gonna take Rubbish and Erode. put that right underneath I think I'm gonna do this to the top too so let's see how that looks I need to sharpen her again and I'm gonna take I believe this one is called the Mary Jane that's such a shame that I don't remember but I'm gonna use that to pack on these two colors Look at that bitch that is a smoky eye can you believe can you believe we're adding a little bit more powder just because melts fucking fall out it's very annoying oh I love this eye um, so I did wear 
Divine and Sour Diesel diamonds, but I don't want to put any glitter. But I feel like Sour Diesel will make this look just so pretty. So we're gonna go in with Sour Diesel. I'm actually doing a bundle right now. <gasps> Duh, why not wear the fucking bundle? Um, so I have a bundle out right now. It's called the Glow Girl Bundle. Sour Diesel, Oblivion, and Parish, and a diamond primer. So we're gonna use that today. I'm gonna go in with Sour Diesel. I've probably used this on my channel so many times. This is my favorite fucking glitter. Like, it's so perfect for every day. It's universal, like anybody, like it's just, it's that girl. To wear that, I am using our new diamond primer. And look how big the fucking packaging is. Like, we love that. It's 15 ml and it comes in the same packaging that the peel off one does, but the peel off one is now $5 and this one is $10. And you get a lot more, like hello, 15 ml. Um, yeah, and it's super long lasting. It's honestly, it's perfect. Like, this is like the star of my store. Where do I want to put this? I low key. All right, we're just going to do a little bit in the middle. Oh, this is perfect for a smoky eye. All right, and I'm just going to take it and lightly move it around the eye. But you've got that like hint of it right there. Love that. All right, now we just need a wing. I'm just gonna do like a normal wing, not a, not the back row wing. Wow. <laughs> My fucking hand just like automatically went for it. That's crazy. And then for mascara, I'm using Chanel. And then for lashes today, I'm gonna go in with Hollywood. I think with this look and this hair, it will like really tie everything together. All right, lashes are on. I'm gonna take my hair down. You guys know I need to feel the vibe before I do this lip but I think I'm gonna do the lip that I did yesterday um, I don't know what I'm talking about um, <laughs> I'm gonna do the nude lip that I did the other day which was oblivion and perish and salvation So you know would be really pretty. We're gonna we're about to layer up the nudes. <laughs> Cause I wanna do renegade and maybe salvation. Let's see. Ah, oh, but Parish goes in the bundle though. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Like putting renegade on just like the outside. We'll do a little bit of parish. Ooh, but no, I like it like this. Let's just see, let's see, let's see. Okay, and then we're gonna put Salvation in the center of this. Just maybe a little bit more. Oh, okay. Now that is pretty. Oh, I love this. Loving this look. Loving this look. What can I add? I need to add something. I need. Okay, I know I said no highlight, but I want to add. A 
little bit of this color. You guys see? No? Maybe? Oh, oh, oh. Well, we're going to add a little bit of this color right here. Actually, let's spray. Let's spray one more time. Oh, and I totally forgot I got the Dior Show Backstage Air Flash Radiate, Radiance Mist. And this is a primer and setting spray. This is also really long lasting. Um, I do love the um, I do love the benefits so far. I feel like it made my skin look very healthy and just like beautiful. I'm gonna put it to the wear test today because um because I do want to take some cute pictures. And then I'll just do some emails. So I'll probably take my makeup off maybe, I don't know, like around midnight. So we'll see how long that lasts. But I'm going to spray a little bit of this. And I want to see um, what it's going to do. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I was too close. Oh my god, I can't see! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did it do anything? Do you guys see a difference? You have to let me know. This hair, I feel like it just looks good if I just leave it how it is. I don't know. Like, I don't want... I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so OCD about it. So I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like it looks better when it's like, what's it called, tussled. This wig is really nice. Like this is not a color I would usually go for. I told you guys I'm stepping out of my comfort zone with hair, but I, I don't know. Maybe it, need, it needs to grow on me, but you guys let me know what you think. Or if you plan on like getting this wig, like let me know. But I mean, glueless install. It's a really nice like throw on wig though. Um, especially now that since we're in the house. <laughs> I'm gonna hairspray it one more time. Cause hairspray gives it that, I don't know. It gives it that like lived in feel. Maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm done primping, but let me stand up so you guys can see the hair in its entirety. But just look at how pretty. Love that. All right, you guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my motherfucking channel, hello, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you, bye.